So let's go ahead and play with material indexes. So first thing I'm going to do is just import um, a car from the Blender Kit. So I know that this one here is a nice emission on it. And if I press the viewport there, let's just rotate this around 180 degrees. And so this is using the Blender Kit. I'm going to scroll that in. Now I want to be able to isolate the bit here that's glowing. I want that to be a separate material because I want to do extra effects to just that. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to come into the material. So let's select the object, come into the material, find that emission material, come down into settings, and I'm going to change the pass index to one. So everything else in the scene will be zero. This material, the emission material will be one. Okay. From here, this only works in cycles. Okay. It's not an option in EV. Let's jump over into composition. And what I'm going to do is enable the nodes to, for the compositor. The other thing I'm going to do is come into the render layers and I'm going to enable material index indexes in the, let's turn that on. And from here, I'm going to press F12 and let's render that out really quick so we can see what it looks like. Very, you know, I haven't put on any denoising, so on and so forth. Let's just kind of go through it. From here, we've got our render. So I'm going to add in a viewer node and plug that into the image. Okay. From here, what I need to do is get that index. So I'm going to shift A to search and I'm going to put in an ID mask. There we go. Put the index into our ID mask and the alpha goes into the viewer. So we can see that now we are looking at everything that is zero. Okay. Yeah. To zoom in and out of the compositor, V is to zoom out, Alt V is to zoom in. I want to have a look at number one, index material one. There we go. So we have now locked down that one material. Cool, Marco. Well done. Let's move on and let's do some really cool stuff now. From here, I'm going to go into search and I'm going to add in a glare node. So if I throw that in there, please do something. It won't do anything because what's happening is the glare node is looking for a value of one. For some reason, it's not one. The Y isn't one. But if I change this to like 0.1, you can see now that that area is now glowing. Hmm, interesting. From here, I'm going to turn streaks to fog glow. And we can see that we've got this nice glow coming around. Um, from here, what we can do is I can add in a mix node. There we go. I can now go add. And I'm going to put this into the factor and move this one down to the image below and grab our image and dump it into there. So now we've got an extra glow around, which is really slight, but let me remove it from the bottom there. And now you can see that we've got an even better glow. What we can do here as well, we can change the color. I maybe want a green glow. Mm. So these are the kind of cool things that you can do with different material setups and compositing. I will do some more tutorials around compositing, but I just wanted to quickly show you material indexes.